another song that I wrote for Masters of Song Fu, I think it was the first one, we were supposed to write a happy song. And so I decided to write about Mr. T. And it wasn't entirely out of the blue because I found this book at Acres of Books way back in the day when Acres of Books was still a building. Um, and it's Mr. T by Mr. T. And, and it is his autobiography written in, I think, 1987. Um, St. Martin's Press, New York. It's a real book. And I'm going to read you a passage from it because I have your attention. And I've always wanted to read one of these out loud. Okay. So you want to meet Mr. T, personal and up close. The man with the gold, not just around his neck, but deep down in his heart. Well, this is my story about my life. And I wrote it myself, without a ghostwriter. Because if I had a ghostwriter, my book would have been his story instead of my story. I am sure there will be other books about me, but they won't tell it like it is. So if you want to read the honest to goodness truth about Mr. T, this is it. But, on the other hand, if you want to read lies, scandals, and half-truths, then read someone else's point of view about Mr. T. Lies sell more books and make more money than the truth, because that's what a lot of you want to read and hear. Even though we know the truth, yet we still lie. I am glad I followed the teachings of Jesus, and he said, Speak the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So here is the unadulterated truth told, written, and spoken in such terms that even a fool can understand what I am talking about. <laughs> I have something to say, and I said it in this book the way that I talk. It's unconventional, and it's not like everybody else's style. But this is me. This is the me that makes me me. <laughs> now, you all know I'm not a Harvard graduate. I'm not a fancy Dan. I'm not a proper speaking guy. I just say it like it is and put it out there. It might not be as smooth and flowing as other folks' books, but this is my book and I wrote it my way. It reads like me. I might have made it pretty, but then that don't sound like Mr. T. I talk about this and that, and jump, and move around, but by the time it's over, I'm sure you'll understand what's happened and what's going on. It might not grab you straight off, but when you read it through, you'll know something about this character, this Mr. T. You'll learn how I went from rags to riches, from welfare to fair and well, and from the ghetto to the get more. Some things will shock and amaze you, while others will make you cry and laugh. You will feel my heart, my pain, my joy, and my sorrow. You will become a part of me. And thus, when you finish reading my autobiography, you will know Mr. T. I, you may find some contradictions, but what the heck. I'm a very controversial guy. I believe my message is very important, but I also realize that a lot of people do not agree with what I have to say and think that I am not sincere. I say to them, I am more than a mindless, muscular money machine or a walk-in jewelry store. People don't understand me, so they tear me down and spread lies about me. This is why I love children so much. <laughs> they are so young, innocent, pure, and honest, with virgin minds. They are a very important part of my life. I know it is very important to talk to children while they are still young. You see, children don't know racial hatred, prejudice, or jealousy. All of that is taught by the parents. Children are not born to hate another race. Why do children love me so much? Well, they see what you adults don't want to see. They see my heart and my love for them. I am a real true hero to them because... No, so kids listen to me, not because they fear me, but because they look up to me. I want to save them while they are still young and have a chance. I want them to know the dangers of drugs, alcohol, smoking, and dropping out of school. I want to try and set a good example for children of all races to follow. I am trying to give them someone who has strong and spiritual beliefs and educational values as well as physical powers. I am trying to be a positive image for them. Now, as their hero, my advice to them is this. Stay away from drugs, listen to your parents, and stay in school. And drink your milk. I don't want a kid to try to be tough like me, but to have a tender heart. Be a scientist, a doctor, an astronaut, because everyone can't be Mr. T. <laughs> For a person to really truly be like me, that person would have to be <laughs> have to be a child of God who ain't afraid to take a stand. Because if you don't stand up for something, then you will sit down for anything. Read on, open your heart, enjoy the book, and most important, go in peace, my brothers and sisters. Woo!